eyes are on Washington, D.C.'s apartment market, but just up north I-95, the apartment market in Baltimore quietly emerged as one of the stronger performers of 2010. Welcome to Apartment Market Dynamics from MPF Research. I'm Jay Parsons with your Baltimore update. At the Strategies Conference, the National Multi-Housing Council a few weeks back, there was a panel of developers, of four or five of them, and every single one was planning or building an apartment project in the D.C. area. And obviously there's plenty of good reason for that. We discussed the D.C. apartment market in a video on November 1st, and you could find that in our video archive on our website, mpfresearch.com, if you missed it. The story in D.C. really hasn't changed much since. But today, let's talk about Baltimore, the charm city. Apartment revenues in Baltimore jumped 6% in 2010. You can see from this chart here, that stacks up pretty well to the national picture. Um, the U.S. norm was 4% revenue growth, and that easily surpassed the revenue growth of 3.3% in nearby Philadelphia. And Baltimore came pretty close to D.C., which had revenue growth of 6.8%. Uh, also attractive markets of New York and Boston came ahead of Baltimore as well, but still an impressive year for Baltimore. So how did Baltimore get there? Let's break down the numbers, starting with occupancy. At, as of year-end 2010, overall occupancy came in at 94.9%, making this one pretty much fully recovered on the occupancy front after bottoming out at 92.8% back in early 2009. Like D.C., Baltimore's apartment market didn't fall particularly hard, and it began to move into recovery mode much faster than other markets in the country. And so there was a big occupancy surge in 2009. And in 2010, there wasn't much room to go, but occupancy did improve prove another 0.8 points. And how about rents? Well, average monthly rents hit a new high in Baltimore during fourth quarter 2010 at $1,120. So Baltimore is no longer a recovery market, it's a growth market, one of the few anywhere. In 2010, same-store rents jumped 5.2% despite modest seasonal cuts in the last three months of the year. That put Baltimore in the number six spot nationally for rent growth behind New York, El Paso, Greenville, San Jose, and DC. In Baltimore, every product age category recorded annual rent growth of four to 6% in 2010, and every submarket recorded rent growth of at least 2% in the past year. Very good results. One submarket in particular that stands out is the Columbia Ellicott City area. Definitely a star performer of a strong market. The occupancy there is at a very strong 97%, up two points annually, and same store rents jumped 6.9% year over year in this key suburban market. We also saw rent growth around the 6% mark in North Anne Arundel County and in the Owings Mills Pikesville area over this past year. So that wraps us up for Baltimore. Until next time, for Apartment Market Dynamics and MPF Research, I'm Jay Parsons. Thank you for watching. Want more? Go deeper with NPF Research's Apartment Market Reports. From a national level, down to individual metros, to specific neighborhoods, NPF Research has been providing unparalleled apartment market intelligence to the multifamily industry for almost five decades. Learn more by contacting us at 877-284-4938 or visit www.npfresearch.com and click on Market Reports.